from the depth of all possibilities crystal palace have gone and signed a player hello guys welcome back to the channel palace Fab mason here to bring you an important announcement so it is deadline day and deadline day has actually proven to be um quite a good one from crystal palace we have signed 20 year old nayaru ahamada please excuse the pronunciation but nayaru ahamada has signed for crystal palace from stuttgart 20 year old midfielder french midfielder um i'm quite pleased with this another bit of young talent that we can bring to the squad um and we're also interested and in looking at and he's completed his medical i've heard uh, Arsenal midfielder Albert Sambi Lokonga um, as well, who might have been considered a little bit of a flop from Arsenal, but then again, Arsenal do have some really well calf players, and he's been going to be joining on loan until the end of the season. Now, thoughts on these two players. Ahamada, I'm very pleased with, um, you know, hasn't been getting a lot of game time, uh, or hasn't been scoring a lot of goals, really. Um, so hopefully we can bring him into this team and get him scoring goals and, you know, providing a little bit of um, magic for Eze, Elise, our strikers, etc. Lokonga, um, on the flip side, I think that this has been a little bit of a panic buy because we never heard of Lokonga. Lokonga's name weren't even brought up until literally today. At least Ahamada was, you know, a a concrete signing that we were going to make. Three and a half year deal. I've heard the deal was gone for about ten point five million pounds. Um, you know, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him in action. But Lakonga, I think it's been a little bit of a panic buy, and considering the lack of depth that we have in other areas of the pitch. Let's go through our team. This is basically my uh, transfer window roundup as we are on deadline day. Goalkeepers. So we've got Vincente Guaita, a man who I think has gone past his sell-by date, really. Um, because, you know, he's, he's he has one good game in five. I think that, you know, he's a decent player. Is he going to get us to the next level in goal? No, his distribution's really poor. Sam Johnston, I've not seen him play at all this season. Uh, which has been quite disappointing. Jack Butland has been one of the players that has gone from Crystal Palace uh, for well for the rest of the season anyway, gone to join Manchester United on loan. Looking at the defenders now, we've only got one left back in Tyreek Mitchell. If he gets suspended again or if he gets injured, then what are we going to do? Persist with Joel Ward at left back? I'm not really too convinced. Put Jai Reader out there? I don't think so. Right back, Joel Ward and Nathaniel Klein are decent again. Are they going to get us where we want them to want us to be? Not particularly. Um, I don't think Ward is good enough anymore. Nathaniel Klein is okay till the end of the season, but in the summer we definitely need a right back. Full backs in the summer are our concrete options that we need. In midfield, okay, so we've now got Ahamada, Lokonga, Ducore. Eze, Jordan Ayew can play there, Elise can play there. We've got players on the bench like Luka Milivojevic, Jairo Riedeveld, um, you know, John Kimani Gordon. The um, We've got some uh, youth players that have gone as well. John Kimani Gordon joining Carlisle United in League Two. Uh, Kieran F F Phillips joining Shrewsbury Town on loan. Luke Plange, the striker that we signed last January, has now gone from... Being on loan in Belgium to now being on loan at Lincoln City um, in League One. So, you know, I'm quite pleased. with And Malcolm Ebiowe as well, who we signed in the summer, has joined Hull City in the Championship on loan. So we have a plethora of midfielders. Midfield, and we've also got Jeffrey Schlupp as well. Midfield and James MacArthur. But... And Will Hughes. I mean, I'm I'm just dropping names at this point. So midfield is not our problem, and that is my small frustration. And hopefully, it won't affect us for 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 the rest of the season. I just hope that you know us persistently signing midfielders and not addressing in key areas. You know, Wilfred Zaha's going at the end of the season. He's going to be our only left winger. 
Then you've got Elise and Ayu that can rotate on the right hand side, which I quite like, to be honest with you. And then up front, we've got one striker that is clinical at times, Edouard, and another striker that, that I've heard doesn't want to be there, Mateta. Um, you know, he's been, I'd say, hasn't had a lot of game time this season, scored one goal um, in the Premier League this season. I just don't think he's he going to make the cut this season. I really don't think. So we've only got two strikers as well. So, yeah, that that's my thoughts on us signing Adam Ahamada and hopefully Lukonga at the end of the window. Hopefully I don't make myself look a fool, but that is what I've seen. And also Palace are looking to sign 17-year-old midfielder Dylan Reed from St Mirren. Um, I'm not going to go into much detail about him because do I think he's going to play that much? No. So, yeah, that, that clears that one up. Okay, guys, so my next video is going to be the review against Manchester United on Saturday. Premier League is back. We've had a two-week absence because of the FA Cup. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to uh, do the review on that one. Then we've got Brighton, Brentford, Liverpool. Fixtures coming in really quickly. Okay, guys, and I will see you soon.